Hello, thank you for coming in today. What seems to be the problem? Hmm, you're experiencing a lot of headaches recently? Okay, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm first going to be asking you some questions about your headache. The questions may be a fair bit lengthy, it's just so I can get a precise diagnosis for you and so we can determine what exactly is causing those headaches for you. And then I'm going to be following up with a head-to-toe physical and neurological examination. Is that alright? Okay, so first off I'm going to be checking your file. Okay, so you haven't had any visits to a doctor since I last saw you? Any surgeries, anything like that? Okay, so it says your last visit with me was February 5th, 2021. Okay, so just a few months ago. And apart from the headaches, how have you been feeling since February? Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm going to begin with some lifestyle questions for you, and then I'm going to move on to the headache questions, alright? Okay. So, have you been experiencing any significant medical changes in the past few months? Okay, and how many hours of sleep do you get each night? And do you have any problems falling asleep or staying asleep? Do you eat breakfast each morning? Do you eat lunch every day? Okay. And how much alcohol do you drink on average? Do you use any illicit drugs? And are you a current or ex-smoker? Okay. Do you experience stress at work? Mm -hmm. Do you manage stress well? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. How do you manage your stress at all? Do you have any techniques? Relaxation techniques? Hobbies? exercise at all? Okay. But for recreational stress. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to be moving on to the questions regarding your headaches, okay? Okay. So, did you suffer from headaches when you were younger? Yeah, you can take a second. Okay. okay. And when did your current headache or headaches begin? Do you know if there was an event that triggered your current headache? Anything significant that might have happened prior to it that you can remember? Okay. Alright. Have you had any medication changes? Okay. Did you sustain an injury prior to your headache? On average, how often do your headaches occur? Okay. Yeah, you feel free to go into as much detail as you like. Okay. And do you tend to get more headaches depending on the season? Okay. Do your headaches come on suddenly or gradually? Do they begin typically, typically in the morning? the afternoon or the night. Okay. And how long does it take for your headaches to reach maximum intensity? And do your headaches improve when you take medication? Okay. And what medications have you been taking for your headaches? Okay. 
And are your headaches preventing daily typical activities, hobbies, school, work? Okay. And can you describe your headache? Um, is it throbbing, stabbing, tight pressure? Is there a band of pain, dull ache? Okay. Okay. And feel free to say yes, no, or I don't know to the next question. Um, do any of the following trigger your headaches? So, certain foods. Okay. Too much caffeine. Hunger or skipping meals, okay. fatigue, stress, exercise, prolonged computer time, alcohol, too little sleep, weather changes, mm -hmm. bright lights, coughing, loud sounds, and odours. And do you experience any of the following symptoms before your headache? Mood changes. Okay. Change in appetite. Personality cravings. Food cravings. Fatigue. Neck pain. Okay. And do you experience any of these symptoms before your headaches? So, are you sensitive to bright lights, flashes of lights, multicolored lights? Do you see zigzag lines? Do you experience partial loss of vision, blurry vision, blindness, numbness or tingling, paralysis, upset stomach or nausea? Dizziness. Okay, and having a look at the associated symptoms now, do you ever experience any of these symptoms during your headache? Okay. Nausea or upset stomach. Vomiting. Loud sounds bothering you. Strong smells bothering you. Vertigo. Lightheadedness. Increased sensitivity of your scalp. Increased sensitivity of your hair, ears, okay. eye tears, a runny or stuffy nose, mood changes or irritability, difficulty concentrating. Okay. And your last question now during your headaches, do any of these make you feel any more comfortable? Do you feel any sense of relief when you? Give these techniques a go. Laying down or sleeping. A head massage. A cold or hot pack on your head or neck. Okay. Being in a dark, quiet room. Okay. And keeping physically active. Okay. Just one more question before we move on to the examination today. Are your headaches preventing you from going to work, going to school, doing your usual daily activities. Okay, and how often does it tend to interrupt those? Okay. Okay, so that is your medical history updated. And now I'm going to move on to your head-to-toe examination. Whilst I examine your head and the symptoms that your headaches appear to be showing. I'm also going to be examining your head from head to toe and having a look at your body in general just to see if there are any more signs that are pointing towards why you're experiencing those headaches, okay? Okay, so first off, I'm going to begin by taking your blood pressure, okay? Okay, so if you don't mind if you could just roll up both sleeves for me, I'm going to take the blood pressure of both of your arms. Pop on a pair of gloves before we do so. So how's your headache right now? Yeah. Okay. So 
So the medication that you do take, how often do you take that? Okay. Alright. Okay, Okay, if you just give me this arm, I'm just going to pop it in the cuff, okay? on. Okay. This is going to be quite tight on your arm, okay? She's good. Put my back around my neck. Okay. Move your arm from the cuff. Okay. Alright. Let's move that out of the way for now. Okay. So now I'm just going to take your temperature. Go across your forehead. going to take your pulse with my hand this time. Leave your wrist out nice and gently. Okay, on the other hand, same again with that wrist. Okay, very good. So now I'm going to begin with the examination of your head. So I have this comb as an option to help me brush through your hair if need be. Let's have a look at your hair. Do you mind if I touch your head? Okay. Alright, so I'm going to be palpating and pressing on your head. And I just want you to let me know where exactly it hurts, okay? Or if it hurts at all when pressed on. About here. Okay, about here. Here at the back. Here at the back. Here at the back. Here at the back. Okay. Any tenderness at all when I press here? Okay, a little bit. Okay. Run across your hairline. How's that? Use a brush and I'm going to take that through your hair now. Okay, how was it when I brushed through your hair? A little tender? Okay. Around the sides? Okay. Is that 
often how it feels. healthy hair, good. Sometimes when you just ever so gently pull the lengths of the hair, sometimes you can feel a lot of sensitivity or pain on the scalp. So I'm just going to bring your hair I'm just going to palpate. You let me know if there's any pain. There's no lesions, no cuts. That's good. You don't have a dry scalp, right? That's good. Alright. Okay. I'm going to touch at the bottom. anything painful or unusual, okay. Right, nothing so far. Okay. Alright. So, now I'm going to be tracking your ears. Are you experiencing any pain with your ears currently? Okay. Alright. So I'm going to begin by having a look with an otoscope into this ear. And I'm first off going to be having a look and then I will be testing your hearing with some words, okay? Okay. Let me know if you experience any discomfort with this at all. Okay. So you might feel a slight tool inside your ear that's just the otoscope. I'm sending a look inside your ear. You have a slight earwax buildup, nothing significant. checked in your medical history as well that you had been to see your doctor for an ear exam too and they got that sorted out too. Now when you went for your ear exam for the earwax removal, did you happen to find you had headaches with that at the same time? So now I'm just going to be examining your other ear, okay? Alright, same thing. Okay. Your ears are pretty much um, interior-wise symmetrical, so that's good. Same amount of earwax built up, nothing dark, no leakage. Any pain here though? Yeah. 
this ear, I would like if you could please cover your other ear with your hand, okay? Yeah, that's perfect, okay. I'm going to say three words or numbers to you. Just try to repeat them back to me if you can, and then we'll go back and forth between each ear. Can. Packet. Trick. Can. Packet. Trick. Okay. Cover this ear. thing again. Trombone, keyboard, stick. Trombone, keyboard, stick. Good. Okay, same thing. Tea light, wallpaper, chair. Tea light, wallpaper, chair. Good. Okay. And the last one. Broomstick. Autumn. Cherry. Broomstick. Autumn. Cherry. Excellent. Very good. So now I'm going to be tracking your cranial nerves 2, 3, 4, and 6, which basically means I'm going to be tracking your vision and your eyes. And we're going to begin by having you look at a snail and chart, okay? Okay, this is just a nice standard snail and chart. I'm just going to have a look at a few lines from that, okay? So, if you can see my stick, good, okay? We're going to study just a few of these, okay? Both eyes, having a look at the board. Can you see this one? E, good. We have P, very good. T, O, Z. Before we move on to this line, could you close your left eye? Okay. What's this? P, E. Close the other eye. Yep, great. And this line. P E C F D. Excellent. Both eyes. E D F C Z P. Very good. Let's have a look at a couple more lines together. It's okay if you don't get. F E L O P Z D. Very good. So, do you wear glasses or contact lenses? Okay. Alright, so I want you to stare at the wall behind me now, and I'm going to be using this light and have a look at inside your eyes, okay? Okay, so do you mind if I come close to you? Okay, so just Stare at the wall behind me, okay? Don't feel free to... Don't follow the light at all. Okay. How are you with the light?
Perfect, okay. And now I would like if you could just follow the top of this pen light with your eyes, but keep your head still, okay? I'm just going to briefly move the pen light towards your nose. Let me know when it goes out of focus for you, okay? So now I'm going to be putting one of my fingers into your field of view and you let me know when you can see it, okay? Great. 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 Perfect. 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 Good. 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 Let me know how many fingers I'm holding up. Four, one, three, zero, three, two, good. One, two, five, four, one, three. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to be testing cranial nerve one, and that is your olfactory nerve. So basically, I just want you to close one of your nasal passages with your finger. I want you to let me know what the smell is that all common smells. What does that smell like to you? Vanilla, perfect. Okay. I'm just going to grab a different scent now. If you could cover your other nasal passage. Very good. Okay, one more. Grab that one. Okay, and both of your nasal passages open now. So leave your nose alone. Great. Orange. Very good. Okay. So if you could just now tilt your head back, I'm gonna have a look down your nose. If that's all right. Okay. Okay. Head up. Perfect. All right.
How's your nose? Your nose feeling okay? You can bring your head down. Okay, great. Okay, how's that feel? So hurt? Okay, and can you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth? One more. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, so now I'm going to be testing cranial nerves five and seven just to see how your motor functions are working in your face. Okay. Could you please puff out your cheeks like this? Great, okay. And can you raise your eyebrows? Good, okay. Can you scrunch your eyes? Good, and can you give me a nice big smile? Okay, very good. So now I want you to bite down, clench your jaw like that. And I'm going to be touching on your jaw, okay? Is that okay? too hard. Just enough that you can clench it. Okay. There are various different forms of headaches, you see, and they can occur for many reasons, and one of them can occur from the trigeminal nerve being in pain or affected. It's typically cluster headaches. So I'm checking to see how your trigeminal nerve is doing. Okay. All right, perfect. So now I'm just going to be putting a soft and sharp object on your cheek and chin. I want you to just let me know if you feel something soft or sharp, okay? Won't be too pointy or anything. Great. Yeah. Good. So now I'm going to be moving on to testing your cranial nerves 9, 10, and 12. So we're going to begin. If you could just open your mouth for me and say, ah. I'm just going to use my light to have a look down your mouth. Is that all right? Okay. Say ah for me. Okay, and stop. Keep your mouth open. Okay, and can you put your tongue out for me? I'm going to look at your tongue. Okay, perfect. Alright. So now I'm going to ask you to shrug your shoulders up for me. I'm going to be taking my hands and pressing them down against your shoulders. I want you to try and resist my push, okay? Yep, try to resist. Great. Great. Okay, and relax your shoulders. Now I'm going to be 
having a look at your lymph nodes. I'm just going to be palpating, gently pressing on them, okay? Your lymph nodes go along. Just under your chin here, down, okay? Okay, is that alright? Okay, any tenderness here? Any tenderness at all when I touch? Okay. None of your lymph nodes appear to be enlarged at all. Okay. Just let me know if you experience anything unusual, any pain, any tenderness, okay? Okay. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Very good. So now I'm going to be palpating on your back, okay? And I'll also be slightly tapping on it, okay? Alright, so if you could just lift up your shirt slightly. Thank you. Breath in for me. Good, okay. Any pain when I do that? No. Doing okay? Yeah. Okay. And one more deep breath in. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Good. Okay, I'm gonna wake up your back now. I'm going to be listening to your lungs, okay? So if you want to keep your shirt up for me, I'm just going to be listening with my stethoscope on your back, okay? It's going to be a little bit cold on the skin, so I'm going to warm up the stethoscope for you, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Breathe normally for me.
One more breath in. Breathe in. And out. Okay. So now I'm going to be listening to your chest. So I'm going to need you to just expose this part of your chest for me, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So just normal breathing for me. Just listening at the different parts of your chest. Starting with your collarbone, working down ever so slightly, okay? Okay. Right, I'm going to be moving it over. Breath in. And out. Oh, good. Okay, normal breathing for me. Good. Good, good, Excellent. So before we move on, just because I have my stethoscope on, if that's alright with you, if you could bring your top up a little bit, just so I can listen to your abdomen, okay? Okay. Great. Alright. So if you just want to lay down flat for me, I'll have a listen to your abdomen. If you could keep your arms by your side as I do so, okay? the stethoscope around a little bit around your abdomen, okay? Okay. Alright. Good. in for me. No. Okay, good. One more. Breathe in. And out. Good. Okay. So that's it for the stethoscope. So, whilst you're laid down right now, I'm just going to be gently palpating on your abdomen, okay? Just around your stomach, upper and lower abdomen, okay? Alright, let me know if you experience any pain, tenderness, anything unusual, okay? Okay. Okay. And how's that? Okay, nothing, nothing odd, okay? Nothing strange, okay. Okay, gentle palpate. Okay, so still lay down for me. You just keep your arms flipped like this with your palms up. I'm going to be taking the pulse of each of your inner arms, okay?
So if you could just now sit up for me on the edge of the bed. Okay, very good. I'm now going to be feeling down your legs, if that's alright with you. Just gently palpating, giving your legs a gentle squeeze, okay? Okay. Okay. So, has there been any swelling at all in your legs? No? None at all. Okay. okay, and can you bring your legs up straight? Okay, drop them back down. Great, okay. Okay. So, now I'm going to be checking your reflexes. So, if you can for me, as comfortably as you can, if you could put your head back as far as possible, safely as you can, okay? Yep, as far as you can. Okay, bring it back to the centre, and can you drop your head down as far as you can? Okay, back to the centre, and keeping your shoulders still, can you turn your head as far as you can? Okay, back to the centre, and can you do the same the other way? Okay, excellent. So now I'm going to be getting my reflex tool, you know, the one that makes your joints bob, and I'm going to be checking the reflexes, starting with your elbow, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to check your triceps. Arm, tricep first. Okay, and your inner elbow. Do that other arm again. Start with the tricep. And the other elbow. Okay. And if you could now bring start with this arm and bring it above your head. Straight up. Okay, and bring it down and reach it out sideways like this. Very good, and bring the arm down. And now this arm, bring it all the way up, nice and straight. Okay, bring it down, and move it sideways, okay. Good, I keep doing this, I'm just gonna have a look at your motions. I'm gonna touch on your joints, okay. Okay, very good. So now I want you to keep your wrists up like this, keep them nice and steady. I'm going to push on your wrist and I want you to try and resist against my push, okay? Just like this if you can. Okay. Good. 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 Great. Okay. So now... I'm going to move down and I'm going to have a look at your feet and ankles now, okay? So, still sat on the edge of the bed with your legs dangling, good, okay? Can you just roll your ankles like this for me? Okay, and can you roll your other ankle? Okay, can you roll them anticlockwise? Okay, together. And one at a time. Okay, perfect. All right. So now I would like if you could take the bottoms of your feet and push them down onto my hands, okay? Okay. Good. 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 
Good. Good. Good. Right. Push one more time. I'm going to take my reflex tool again and I'm going to be testing your knees now. Okay. Yeah, it does make your joints jitter a bit, doesn't it? Good. Good. Great. And your other knee. Good. 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 Okay. And now I'm going to Move all the way down to your Achilles, back of your foot, and I'm gonna test the reflexes of those, okay? This might feel a little strange, right? Good. 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 Okay, and your other foot. Good. 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 Okay. Okay, testing your Achilles again. Good. 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 Okay. I'm going to move back up to your knee one more time. One, two, three, and your other knee last time. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay. Last few tests now. If you could just stand up for me, nice and straight. Okay. And I want you to just close your eyes and stay still for me. I'm just going to have a look at your stance and posture, all right? Okay, and open your eyes. If you could now stand still, twist your hips that way, twist your hips the other way. Okay, and keep doing that for a second. Good, 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 good. Okay, and can you attempt to touch your toes? Bend down, try and touch your toes. It's okay if you can't do it. Okay, we're doing that for a second. Okay, and if you could now, as you stood up, walk towards me. Okay, turn around, walk backwards. Good. Okay, and walk lengthways that way. Stop, turn around, and come back to where you were. Okay, and take a seat. All right. So the examination is complete. You did very well. So just to let you know, there are around five common types of headaches. Migraines, cluster headaches, tension headaches, sinus headache, hormonal headache. Given the results of the test today, you did very well, by the way, and the symptoms you've expressed and what you're feeling right now. Your headaches appear to be tension headaches, which are about the most common headaches that people feel. They can happen for numerous reasons. Bad posture, tension in the muscles, stress, things like that. So what I would suggest is if your medication appears to be working for you right now, I would tell you to stick to the dosage and don't take it any more times than you feel like you need to simply because you can actually get headaches that are worsened or new headaches from um, overexposure to headache medicine so take it as needed, okay? Another thing that you could try is relaxation techniques um, you seem to be a fairly stressed person so if you're able to manage your stress of course, easier said than done then that might help and benefit your tension headaches in a lot of ways. Um, have you considered watching maybe ASMR videos, trying guided meditation, yoga? Yeah, yeah, they can, they can be effective for some people. Another thing I would probably want to have you have a look at is your posture. Um, sometimes you appear to be struggling with your posture, so if you're able to, um, in the present moment, just check how's your back doing when you're sat in a chair. That can add a lot of tension to your muscles, which can trigger tension headaches, believe it or not. Yeah, so just always practicing a good posture will aid in 
several comforts in your body in the future. Yeah. So, lastly, another thing I would suggest for tension headaches, apart from all the things that you're doing that you think help you, which I think is great, I commend all of those, I think those are really, really good options that you're going for, um, is cold and hot packs. So, the reason I say cold or hot, because the reason is that some people prefer cold, they find a bit of relief from that, or hot. Um, cold packs you can get from the store, cold compressors, ice in a towel, bag of cold peas, whatever works for you. And some people put that on their neck, their head. Try not to place it on your head for too long because it can really give you just a bit of an achy head. So, try to focus on short periods of time on the head. Okay? Alright. And for heat packs, obviously you can buy heat packs from the store and place those on the muscles that you think need them for that comfort. Or you can run yourself a hot shower or bath. That can really help in relaxing your muscles. Especially baths. Some people like adding bath products like bath bombs, Epsom salts. A lot of people like Epsom salts for that nice sore muscle relief that they can have in it. Okay, so thank you so much for coming in today. I really appreciate it. I really do hope with the treatment methods I've suggested to you that you begin to feel better soon. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming in. If your headaches worsen at all in the future, I need you to come in, see me again, see what else might be going on if that occurs, but hopefully they go away with time and the treatments that you're going to be using. Okay, you take care now. Goodbye.